Hello, I'm Li Jing. In the previous audio and bytes on Fair Plus verification, we have stepped through the verification framework. In this video, we will talk about the practical utility of this framework. In this video, you will see how the verification framework can be practically applied in a task using an IMI case study. The IMI care project was initiated in response to the COVID-19 pandemic with the goal to deliver treatment for the COVID-19 and future coronavirus outbreaks. The Jensen dataset was first published as a spreadsheet on Zenodo, an open generic research data repository. Jensen approached the FairPlus project to help improve the fairness of the dataset in order to advertise the data to a larger user community and improve the interoperability for future reuse. The goal is to make the project bioactivity data comply with community standards and publicly available so that other researchers can easily reuse the data without repeating the compound identification and testing work. Available data is one spreadsheet with data on Vero E6 bioactivity screening. The dataset pre-assessment indicated an overall fairness level of 37%, indicating its low adherence to the fair guiding principles. Detailed pre-assessment results are available in the video description. Several potential reasons account for the reduced fairness level. Firstly, Zenodo is not the ideal place for bioactivity data deposition. Secondly, data and metadata being stored in the same spreadsheets limits the data interoperability. Thirdly, no standard compile name or value was used. The FairPlus score team highlighted several features that could be modified to enhance the initial fairness level of the dataset. Following discussions, a verification web plan for the project was devised, with tasks outlined in their respective sections as shown in this diagram. Findability appeared to be a factor to be improved. To increase findability, the FairPlus scored recommended to upload the data to Campbell, which is a publicly accessible repository specifically for bioactive compounds. To prepare the dataset for Campbell, the team used a set of well-established standards and metadata checklists that allowed for transformation to Campbell compatible format, including chemical information ontology, bioexay ontology, and ontology of units of measure, as well as identifiers such as the International Chemical Identifier, INCI, and the Simplified Molecular Input Line Entry System, SMILES. The dataset was further prepared for upload to the Campbell database by using a defined Campbell-compatible template that can be reused by others. The data have been uploaded to Campbell and have been released in Campbell version 30. The procedure on how to publish by activity data on Campbell will be added to the FAIR cookbook recipes for future reuse. Using this set of standards resulted in a post-verification assessment of over 90%. Links to detailed post-assessment result and the verified dataset can be found in the video description. Here is a subset of FAIR indicators that have been changed after the process. For example, after verification, both the metadata and data use knowledge representation expressed in standardized format and are all machine understandable. The metadata now include references to other metadata and it is guaranteed to remain available 
even after data is no longer available. A bit more details on the data improvement. As part of the verification process, data identifier enrichment was performed. This includes annotating chemical structures using standardized notations like INKEY and SMILES, and using taxonomy ID for the identification of cell types in phenotypic screening. Additionally, there was a standardization of data values incorporating the definition of numerical readouts and distinguishing assay types following Campbell guidelines. The numerical readouts associated with each molecule were reorganized to enhance data coherence. To summarize impact of this work, after this work, the fair score has improved from 37% to over 90%. With care data set available in Campbell, it is more accessible to the scientific community. We anticipate that there will be more data download. Depending on Campbell's structure, it will be possible to get the data set download and reuse status. The recipe and data models produced can be used by other care data set as well as other projects. Finally, a success story was written and published as well. To summarize in this video, I have demonstrated the verification process using an IMI project here and show you how the framework can be practically applied in a task. Thanks for watching. Please see the links used as well as links to additional resources alongside this video.